our, hot, our hosts bring you hot topics they want to share. We'll ask, is this truth, lies, or shenanigans? Our panel will talk about it for a bit until time is up. And then we'll go to our audience for questions. So make sure you're talking to us in all our threads. We are listening. So for today, we are talking about, this is going to be Lizzie talking about canceling Hamilton. Explain, Lizzie, is this truth, lies, or shenanigans? Again, I, I always get, you know, the duality, you know, <laughs> the dichotomy. Um, this is both truth and shenanigans. So there is a movement now, apparently, that I knew nothing about until this past week. But there's a movement now. There's a hashtag now. Cancel Hamilton. So for those of you who are not in the know or not that familiar, Hamilton is um, a play about Alexander Hamilton, going through the history of Alexander Hamilton. It um, debuted in New York City in 2015 and became a huge success. Initially, it was in a public theater, and then it went to Broadway. And it became so popular. I lived in New York. Um, I've been in New York for 21 years. So I was in New York when it debuted. I've never seen it on Broadway. The tickets were over $2,000. Yeah. Crazy. Um, it was it was like the hottest ticket in town. Very popular. Um, it so the the play itself is a winner of eleven Tony Awards. It was nominated for Golden Golden Globes, and so Disney um, Plus over the summer decided that they were going to bring it into their streaming service. So in I think it was in July. Um, the, the, the common folk who couldn't, you know, afford $2,000 per ticket, that you stream into Disney Plus and you could see the movie version of Hamilton. Well, when you have more access, that opens you up to more criticism. And so people, you know, at home watching Hamilton on Disney Plus started to criticize it because they said they thought that it glorified George Washington, who owned slaves, that even though Alexander Hamilton was an abolitionist and he was against slave ownership he still worked very closely he was kind of like a moderate if you will in that he worked very closely with other politicians who owned slaves so now there's this whole big cancel hamilton movement that has been going on since the summer and there's been a lot of chatter on social media um between the cancel between you know the gen z i think it's gen z is that what we're in now what what what, what generation are we in now uh, it's, it's, it's probably gen z that's talking about it could be gen the millennials z, i don't know who knows. and you know gen z and some millennial millennials and then old people like myself and so my question <laughs> to you all is um and i think this is our first cancel culture topic for today we're gonna have another one but do you think hamilton should be canceled if you have seen Hamilton panelists, did you watch it and feel like it was glorifying slave ownership? Let's start with Rob B. It's, but what, it's have a, you seen Hamilton? Have you seen I Hamilton? haven't. I have oh, not. Well, okay. I have not. So limited, limited. But I mean, if you're setting something in a historical period and someone was rubbing elbows with people that may not have espoused the same ideology as you, embrace the same ideology as you. Uh, there's still historical place markers. I can see where George Washington is going to be. He's always going to be celebrated as one of the forefathers of your, of your nation. So you're not going to remove him from the narrative. I can appreciate where someone may take exception if the narrative is about uh, slavery abolition, then I, I can see where people would take exception to it, but if it's part of the story, you can't cancel the story. You, you, you can't cancel history. History doesn't care. <laughs> so just to piggyback off of uh, what our guest was saying, right. history really doesn't care about history doesn't care about your feelings. It's just a series of facts and figures, and you need to use that information for the betterment of tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I think that this might be buying into cancel culture. But this is coming from a point of view where I have not watched Hamilton. Okay. okay. Olivia? Olivia, have you seen Ham Hamilton? Okay, I have not watched Hamilton. But my question is, it, is it a historical artifact or historical representation? Because if it's a historical representation, how can we cancel history? 
Okay. That's interesting. I want to I want to actually jump onto that cuz uh she she kind of is making my point that I was going to make. So I feel like everyone has an opinion, right? Not everyone's opinion is right, wrong, whatever. Um but you're entitled to your opinion and you know, is the story about I, by the way, I did see Hamilton, but is the story about uh someone that supported or participated in slave ownership? Yes. Yes, it is. And is it horrible to sens- sensationalize slave owners? Absolutely. But, you know, this is during a time when people owned slaves. So does it mean that you can't tell any other story about people that own slaves? You know, that you don't tell any other story other than the slavery story? No, because it's history. It's a historical moment. And, you know, you know, maybe could he have addressed the slavery issue a little bit more? Sure, he could have. But the thing is, it's his art. You know, it's, it's Lynn manuels art. It's his creation. And we have choices to experience it or not experience it. We have those choices. Exactly. If you want to go to the show, we can go to the show. If you don't like exactly. the show, don't go to the show. You know, but he's not, it's not like he's sensationalizing slavery or saying that slavery was a good thing. It's not like he's, you know, he's not glorifying slave ownership in any way. So, you know, let him tell the story he wants to tell. If that's the story he wants to talk about, and that's the way he wants to tell it, you know, we choose to go, we don't go. That's the way I see it. So this is how we going to start off? We, we going to be agreeing today, Neo? Are we agreeing? Wait, oh, we're agreeing. So Look at that. Is it history? Um, oh, no. no say just, it ain't so. It is a historic, it's, I guess, yes, Olivia, it's historical, um, it's a, it's a historical. Okay. Then, it, then it is what it is. History is history. We can't change it. Need, but I also think people need to keep in mind, like, unlike cinema, where you can have, you know, a biopic, where you can have a documentary, this is theater. Yes. Everything is melodramatic in theater. Yes. Everything in theater is a performance. Yes. And it's from a certain person's perspective. And like Neo said, it's not like, you know, it's a play that is glorifying or is saying that this is acceptable. They're just elevating the story, if you will. They're adding song and drama and performance to the story. And nothing about Broadway or plays is an encyclopedia. Like, if you want the full (laughs) story of Hamilton, then do your research. Yes, which I did, actually. It forced me to do that. Yeah, enjoy it for what it is. So I've seen it several times on Disney Plus now. Got to, you know, earn that streaming membership. Um, But... (laughs) But I, there was nothing until this topic came up to me um, about a week ago. There was nothing that concerned me about Hamilton, about the script, about the performance, about the angle, and I, I, I kind of don't have a problem with cancel culture because I do, in some respect, believe that people have a right to say, "I'm not going to support this anymore." But at the same time, I think I have a, a, a problem with some of the arguments that yes. the culture. That's where I yes. am. And so I just think, Me you know, too. people and people on Twitter, you know, people on Twitter, they bitch just because they want to bitch. That's what I was. That's what I it is. That's so true. Where I'm just like, this is a non-issue for me. This is a non-issue for me. Yeah. Yeah. I totally agree with you. I totally agree. I mean, so Olivia, now what? Do you, now what are your thoughts? Now that you've asked your question, what are uh, your thoughts? I mean, my thoughts are: if it's a historical event, it needs to be said. Cancel culture, like Lizzie said, it's um, it's it's becoming too much. If it's history, you can't cancel it. Yeah. <laughs> it, it doesn't make sense. But it's one thing when you're a racist and you have this rhetoric that's actually unrelated um, and you're trying to create a racist rhetoric, that's one thing. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. this history, yeah. it's history. It's, it's, it's history. We, we, professors, Lizzie, professors, our other professor that just came on, we need history yeah. to educate ourselves. I'm not about erasing history. Yeah. You know even, what else, even if it's not pretty history. But also yeah, even if it's not pretty. To add to what Olivia just said, we also need to come up with creative ways to tell that historical story to keep these young people engaged. 
And the Hamilton, you know, the play, the Broadway play, that was an excellent example of how to get people talking about who Alexander Hamilton is, was, about George Washington, about slavery, that I would not have been able to do as well in my classroom. So are they canceled or not canceled? Oh, they're not. Not for me. Not no, 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 not they, for me. Uh, this was, it was quote canceled. They're not canceling the actual play, but you know, like, Good job. But but there is a hashtag, Olivia. There is a hashtag, cancel Hamilton. So this is a thing. Oh on no, this is a thing on not Twitter. as a history. No. Mm -hmm. and, and it's a really good play. I mean, uh, you know, I, I mean, you know, I, I've I've talked a lot about how I walk into certain things with high impressions or expectations, and then I'm disappointed. I wasn't disappointed with Hamilton. Hamilton was, uh, you know, met my expectations. So. So we got some comments online. Daria Winter, history is not even history, but a perspective on the path. And that's a great point. It's the perspective. I like the perspective on a path because we all see it differently. I mean, it's all, it's, nobody can see the history the same. What were you going to say, Olivia? Jump in. And do we want to do cancel culture? Because I don't know who Hamilton was written by, but do we want to do hate? cancel culture when the history is written by a Caucasian. I mean, because we've had some, we've had some, some shocking history, even from Roots, when they beat him and they told him his name is Toby. Nobody said cancel Roots. You know what I mean? So my question is, do we only cancel, cancel the people that are telling it rather than the, the, um, you know, what I mean? rather than the actual story, right. rather than the actual, story. rather than the actual story. And my 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 point to that is, so there's another play that was on Broadway that was very controversial, that I believe came out in 2018 or 2019. Um, it's called Slave Play, and it's by um, a playwright named Jeremy O. Harris, who is black. And a lot of people did not like the story. They found it to be offensive. It's about a, a black slave, I believe, falling in love with a white slave master. People correct me if I'm wrong, because I haven't seen it. I, um, I want to show it in my class, but I don't have access to it yet. Um, but a lot of, but definitely black Twitter was offended. A lot of black people were, were offended by this particular, because how dare you as a black man, as a black playwright, show on stage a love affair between a slave and a slave owner. And we I'm gotta... like, well, it may have happened. Yep. That's the story he's telling. Like This story. Yep. Yeah. So Mike Wolf says, if it's not as if there's an official cancel list somewhere, people who choose to watch it on Disney Plus are not necessarily bad people. At the same time, I have no problem with people who use huge cultural events like Hamilton to, to remind us. Um, Kevin Dax says, what? don't watch it. You're in charge of the remote. Don't watch it. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, again, I got Disney Plus for the sole purpose of watching this. You don't yeah. have to do mm -hmm. that. Yep. And uh, yeah. Johnny Storm says, cancel culture is canceled. <laughs> All right, let's get to our next. Hashtag, Johnny. That hashtag. <laughs> let's get to our next hot topic. Truth, lies, shenanigans.